Hey guys, Metal Driver here bringing you another WWE Elite review. Today I'll be looking at the Elite Top Picks Drew McIntyre figure. Front of the box has a really nice image of Drew McIntyre and a certified authentic logo which is new to this current Top Picks line. Sides of the box feature an image of Drew McIntyre on both sides. The back of the box features an image of Drew McIntyre, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Bio includes from Air Scotland, weight 265 pounds, and height 6 feet 5 inches. Career highlights include WWE Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion, and Intercontinental Champion. The description states, the Scottish Psychopath and Dolph Ziggler destroyed the B-Team to become the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Alright, so before we take a look at this figure, this does appear to be a re-release of Elite 71 Drew McIntyre. Now unfortunately, I missed out on that figure, so for me, I'm glad they re-released the figure. So now I have a chance to own a modern, elite Drew McIntyre figure in my collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this figure up and take a closer look at Drew McIntyre. Alright, and here is Drew McIntyre out of packaging, but first, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So he comes with a pair of interchangeable gripping hands. He comes with his entrance jacket, which is designed pretty well. So I like the silver dry brush here so that looks really good you got a little bit on the shoulders over here as well silver buckles here look pretty good you got this nice design going down on the sides then on the back you have some more silver dry brushing so overall pretty good looking jacket now it is plastic i'm not the biggest fan of plastic jackets however this doesn't hinder articulation and it fits really well on Drew McIntyre. He also comes with an interchangeable head sculpt. So this is the one with all the hair in front of his face. So not a look that he has currently, but he used to put his hair in front of his face. So it's nice to have that. And it does look pretty good on the Drew McIntyre body. Then take a look at the face underneath the hair. So it looks really good, painted really well. The eyes look good, the beard looks good. Then on the default head, face sculpt looks identical to the alternate head sculpt. Paint looks good on the beard, on the eyes, and the eyebrows. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. It definitely looks like Drew McIntyre, so that's always a plus when the head sculpt looks like the actual wrestler. Then as you notice, the biggest difference with this head sculpt, he has his hair slicked back. So this is the current look that he has, so... This will be the head sculpt that I have on this figure. All right, then look at the torso. So he's very muscular and beefy, just like how he should look. You guys, chest hair showing here. So that's painted really well. The arms look good, nice and buff. And then you've got painted wristbands on both sides. Then look at the trunks. He has these Celtic crosses, which are painted very well. Line work is good on both. Paint is crisp and clean. No sloppiness or mispaint. Then look at the back of the trunks. He has a lion, looks like a crest or shield, and the McIntyre name here. Now, unfortunately, on the back side, on his butt, the paint came out a little bit sloppy, so you've got some missing paint here. On the yellow banner, and above the I and the C, you've got some missing paint here, so some missing yellow, a little bit of missing white, and some missing white as well here. So that's disappointing. It's not the worst, although I still would prefer that it wasn't there. However, this is on the back, so you wouldn't even be able to tell. So if you were to find this in stores, you wouldn't be able to pick out which one has the best looking butt. <laughs> but you will be able to see the front crosses here. Then look at the legs. He's got knee pads. They're just standard black ones. No extra paint. And then he has standard black boots. Again, no extra paint. Just solid black. All right, and going over the articulation, so the head's on a ball joint. He can't really look that far up, and he slightly tilts down. His head can turn side to side, and it can tilt. Shoulders have a hinge, which allow it to go that high up. Can rotate all the way around. There's a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. He has an ab crunch, which allows him to go that far forward and that far back. He has a waist swivel, ball joints at the hips, which allow it to go that far out. And this one is stuck. Oh, there you go. So yep, that far out. Legs can go that high up, which is really good. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle has a hinge, which allows it to go that high up, that far down, and he has ankle pivot. All right, so what are my thoughts on the top picks Drew McIntyre Elite figure? I think this is a really cool figure. Now, as I mentioned, it is pretty much a re-release of Elite 71. The only difference is he does not come with the Raw Tag Team Championship belt. But other than that, it looks like they are identical. So pretty much, a, as I said, a re-release. Now, if you already own Elite 71 Drew McIntyre, then there's really no reason to pick this one up. Now, if you're like me, who missed out on that one, then this is a solid figure to purchase. I'm glad to have him in my collection. I've been enjoying his run as WWE Champion, so now I can finally pose him, put him in different shots of him fighting with Randy Orton, possibly even recreating the 
ambulance match that he had. So once again, if you missed out on Elite 71, then definitely pick this figure up. Otherwise, if you already have that one, then there's no reason to get this figure. So if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can see more WWE Elite reviews. Follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with all my wrestling figure photography. As always, stay tuned till the end to see pictures of this figure in action. And I'll see you next time.